You are very red red today, Manny. Uh, yeah, this just happens to be the sweater I was <laughs> we wearing about, right now. So. Are we about to start a gang war? <laughs> That's not the first time I've been asked that, which is really weird. <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry then. Uh, were you wearing the same outfit? Because that would explain it. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I'm wearing a different outfit, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, man. Um, God, what was it? There there was some uh, some other uh, like pop culture reference I, I made uh, to... Um, like a, a Bloods and, and, and Crips war. And, oh, it was it was an, an anime thing. That's what it was. Uh, of of course it was. Talking about um, one of the, uh, let's face it, one of the harem anime we, we watched. Not necessarily one with active sexual encounters. It's one of those where our multiple girls are into uh, one guy type thing. Um, uh, and I related like one of the characters to to Bloods and and the other one to to Crips because their 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 hair was blue. So, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, you know sometimes in in those uh, in those uh, in those situations uh, uh, the fight for for like best best girl can in, can end up being like gang warfare on the on the internet ridiculous how how people and their and their waifus can become hello everybody and that's the wrong <laughs> one hello everybody welcome to the daily uh, daily cup of genre here on the genreverse youtube channel uh, and genreverse podcast network available on all your favorite podcasts all your favorite podcast apps like Apple and Spotify, Google, and and uh, even Amazon. So, so yeah, yeah I'm glitchy Kyle today. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, it's like a it's like a stumble. Once you kind of start tripping, got to kind of just oh fall. yeah, just, <laughs> pause, get back. And not up. gracefully, you fall like Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> there you go. I'm Kyle. That's Manny, and uh, I actually come bearing good news ladies good and, news. and gentlemen i i come bearing relatively good uh good tidings for uh for um uh fans of movies fans of comic book movies in particular and uh fans of spider-man even more Spider-Man. on point so according to uh time and let me get the uh wrong browser that is firefox sorry i don't remember why i was watch out cat sharing through firefox last time but it needs to be chrome there we go okay so um uh where was i according to time and a uh interview with bad bunny uh uh, mm. who is supposed to have been starring in a Spider-Man spinoff, uh, El Morto. Uh, Bad Bunny revealed that filming has not taken place. He feigned confusion, according to Time. And uh, uh, Bad Bunny's publicist added that the film is at, quote, at a standstill. Uh, later, the publicist explained that El Morto is in d- development, quote, uh, Time noted that Sony representative declined to comment on the record. Uh, to me, it sounds like stop, cat. To to me, it sounds like normal Hollywood stuff. Uh, just because we haven't said anything doesn't mean that it's it's not happening. But it definitely doesn't mean that it that it is either. The point being is that these these types of confusions have been seen before in Star Wars movies that aren't getting made. Marvel projects that aren't getting made so if uh history repeats itself good news everyone (laughs) another shitty spider-man spinoff looks like it might not get made do you you think this has anything to do with uh morbius's awful performance um and rumblings you know that aren't very positive for madam web and and craven or maybe even reaction reactions aren't good what do you think manny I don't know. I'm just happy that it's probably not getting made. Um, Bad Buddy's so bad. very talented, and he is great for the music industry and the, even I'll even say the wrestling industry, just pop culture in general. But for this character, you needed a Mexican team to get it done <laughs> because Lucha Libre is tradition, and it is. Um, I'm not saying they don't they don't wrestle in yeah, Puerto Rico. Yeah, I'm just saying 
this is a Mexican story and you should have had you should have had somebody else on it. Um, so to kind of backtrack and have them for whatever reason not do it makes me happy either way um it's just kind of it's just kind of a weird spin-off to do um so i don't know it's i'm i'm glad it's not happening well i'm glad it seems like it's not happening yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least this version of it yes uh the, the 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 whole problem always was with sony's idea of villain spin-off stuff is you can't afford to put a a spider-man in all of them even if you rotated like even no, if you, you can't yeah. even if you rotated uh garfield mcguire and holland you know they they're all going to command a big uh salary and and there's no there's just no good way to do uh villains in general sure they made the joker work but it's it's more of that's a complicated film. It's it's not so much Joker or any anyways. Good movie, relatively. Um, but it's really hard to make uh most villains work in a in a movie on on their own. Uh it's, especially these days where uh because of you wanna sell toys or even though I bought toys of, of outright uh, bad guys in the past or you you're afraid of upsetting the the wrong group everyone needs their their villains to be sympathetic empathetic or or some other pathetic uh <laughs> but uh uh yeah i don't i don't ever believe they can really just do good good villain solo stories these days that's why when when uh the guy that that did legion wanted to do a uh a, a doom victor victor von doom series i'm like no stop you need interaction with 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 what makes the villain the the villain and and that's the hero and in this in this business where everything is connected that gets expensive really really fast so well the thing usually is that villains are a reflection of qualities that mm -hmm. are insecure qualities of the heroes i should say yeah and so um to uh not have that partnership and not have that mirror in other words where you could reflect on <clears throat> like for example batman's a very good um example of this because you can it's like it's like glaringly obvious what what those are like the joker is his in his sense of justice versus the joker's anarchy um his way of dealing with his family's money versus the penguins um uh um kind of higher always wanting to be part of that hierarchy of of, of rich people yeah. and and um you know his love life you can see through catwoman as far as like how messed up it is and, and so on and so on and so on um so if you don't have that uh sometimes it makes it kind of difficult to um to kind of explore those characters it works sometimes but not yeah. always no it's it's like a like a green goblin movie would not work <laughs> no no not not at all not at all and and like i said the the joker himself is a unique character but it's also the unique way they approached it in that film that makes it work without without batman you know you yeah don't, you don't have to have uh there, there's a reason like so many of the of the villains in spider-man and even other other villains with with batman where where batman's more closely uh related to them where where the the origins are so similar or follow similar beats or have similar cast members um it makes it all very 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 uh entangled uh venom venom being one of the biggest ones the whole the whole reason venom hates spider-man so much is peter rejecting him rejected him yeah you know yeah and 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 venom hates hates that aspect and and it it matters man it, it matters to see that and and really you combine that that venom hatred of of spider-man with that eddie hatred of peter and those two coming to together and it and it creates that character that we all know and and love from from the comics uh having this teenaged you know s space sludge just come down and attach itself to a to an activist journalist doesn't doesn't quite make the same creature you know so 
You uh, tell China that. I know. God dang it. <laughs> and then the U.S. did not help. Did, did no. not help, especially with the second, the second one. And I know it didn't make bank, but it made relatively uh, decent money and was encouraging. And 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 oh my God, man, the the just Sony. Thank you for all the good stuff, like the the Susan May stuff and the Crunchyroll stuff. But uh, man, you guys gotta gotta get rid of Amy, Amy man. <laughs> got to yeah, or or something uh you got to you got to you got to get her her choices of of projects under control um aunt aunt may spy movie like really yeah yeah i don't know oh my god anyways <laughs> that was my that was my my uh my good my good news i want to know manny moving on to uh the uh marvels trailer something we were all all discussing in our uh discord which you guys can find a link to uh in the discussion box down down below but uh we were discussing this uh this trailer uh there and most everyone kind of had the the uh the same feels um which is to say meh <laughs> mm -hmm. uh would you care to explain your level of of meh on <laughs> on <laughs> the marvels as i'm trying to get the damn uh browser to load up anyways go ahead manny what what do you think i think uh i think my biggest issue is um brie larson looks like she's like she's never happy to be on set as far as her performance as captain marvel mm. it, it feels very stiff and very forced um while like and this is actually a good and this is a good point while the actress that plays kamala seems like she's having a really good time playing the character yeah that is true <laughs> um, so uh that so there's a that, that opposites that you can even see and you can almost like like i see it very vividly in the trailer um so uh I, that's a, that's all points to to the actress that plays kamala but just brie larson is just kind of just, like i don't know man like there's nothing about her performance that emote any kind of emotion for me as far as like i care about the superhero yeah she's powerful so what yeah um and um and then after and then if you if you pair that with the fact that captain marvel was not a good movie and it was released at the wrong time uh definitely released and, at the wrong wrong time i wouldn't say it was a a bad movie though like, it was a bad movie i've consistently um, rated that movie at at like a solid c plus like it was not the worst of marvel like there there but are it was, worse it was, marvel it wasn't movies. even yeah but there's a whole lot more that oh god better. yeah yeah and god, that yeah. Um, it wasn't offensive and, it just wasn't it was not special it was bland it was uh almost almost boring if it if it weren't for fury uh and the cat and mickle uh yeah and and uh is it it's not Mickelson, is no, no. Um, no, it's the not. the Australian actor that that plays uh, Talos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it wasn't for those those characters, it would have been boring. But that managed to make it just kind of and Coulson every now now and then kind of made it, you know, pass. Ka Kamala, man, I I liked the first like two two and a half episodes of of Miss Marvel. I thought they were gonna have this real fun. Yeah. A uh, traditional coming of age type ad adventure, something that is easily multi layered. Everyone comes of age, if you if you will. Everyone goes through through puberty and teenage uh, uh, stuff, rebelling against your 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 parents and uh, trying to you know show yourself to be in a, independent, assert your your identity. Like we can all relate relate to that. And then you allow, hey, it's also a female led story so females can and then you go to the well she's also a uh, uh, a muslim and you get into into that uh uh that uh i don't want to use demographic but that layer layer uh so you create this multi-layered character and it and it was working and then the the story just it fell up it fell apart and then the the finale was just juvenile and then you you lacklusterly introduce officially introduce mutants via 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 her um it just 
it ruined what was a good start. She was the best part of, of this trailer in, in my mind as well. Uh, very inter energetic, just kind of like that that first couple of, of episodes and little individual points throughout the rest of the, of the series. You guys can see Nick and I review Miss Marvel here on the channel. Marvel Multiverse uh, Mayhem is the name of that show. Playlists, easiest way to check out our stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, it fell apart. And then... Monica, I I liked her in WandaVision. I liked her character. I liked her the uh, the actress did did well and then we just never saw any anything again. Yeah. And, it, and it's been a <laughs> it's been a while and it's been even longer since really dealing with with Captain Marvel herself and and like we said it's a it's a meh at best movie. Um and it's uh uh she it was used at the wrong wrong time and she's bore she's boring yep she she's boring and and i just don't i don't care i want i want to i wish this movie all the success in the world hopefully it makes bank so it helps theaters out keep keep local uh keep people lo employed locally at, at their theaters and stuff like that um but i i i honestly i honestly cannot say that i see this this movie in theaters oh i'll watch it in theaters <laughs> maybe maybe you can do Marvel Multiverse Mayhem with Nick then for it because I I really and it, and it, a lot of it's going to kind of de, uh, depend on um uh depend on uh Guardians. Secret Invasion. Oh yeah, okay. And how well that that does for me to even give a damn cuz I and you know maybe if you you came back knowing how I I won't listen to Nick's op opinion on it but <laughs> if you were like Kyle please I think you'll actually like this this movie I'd probably go see it I trust I trust your your like judgment uh uh on something like that uh I think after doing the show for a couple of years you you kind of know what I would or wouldn't wouldn't get um but besides but other than that other than someone trusted saying hey I I do think this is worth your your time I don't think I. I don't think I will. I think this will. You're be... gonna watch it. No, whatever, man. But yeah. in theaters, I don't. I don't think I will. You're you're gonna end up watching it. So <laughs> I didn't finish uh, Eternals. That uh, I don't remember half of that movie. I think I fell asleep. <laughs> um, all I remember from that day is apologizing to my brother for taking it to it. <laughs> bad. Uh, you're a bad sibling i was like i was like this movie is so bad i'm so sorry i did not i did not see this coming um yeah it um i i i so the the way i'm approaching it it basically is n there is no evidence to tell me that this is gonna be good um no. so um Hopefully, I am surprised by something in it that makes it enjoyable. <laughs> That's all I have left. Because I can't um, rate the movie, rank the movie, whatever, mm -hmm. um, review the movie without having watched it. So, yeah, because as we know very well, trailers can be very deceiving. Um, they and can, right now, but you also don't have anything built that's what I'm, i have yeah that's what i said i, I don't have i yeah. don't have any evidence to say this is going to be good um but people are like it like they do with every trailer uh, oh god it's gonna be so good it looks so fun blah, blah, blah. it's like so the same thing with ant-man guys we're very excited about kang mm -hmm. and at the end of the day it didn't really, didn't really marvel out. has been shitting their pants for weeks and yeah they've they've had they've like backtracked on things they've i mean what happened to that big old slate we saw at san diego last year mm. with like 120 projects of like every character we don't want <laughs> it's like it, it seriously seemed like for every series there was one character that kind of stood out yeah and it was like oh spin off spin off yeah we don't you don't need it just have them show up in something else yeah there's and uh, well, that was that that Phil Disney Plus thing, man. That's what that yeah. was. Oh Didn't wait, that work. costs money to fill Disney oh, Plus. Yeah. Oh yeah, and sub no. subscriptions aren't aren't enough. You mean all of that, all of the the household uh, ex extra externally extra outside of the household password sharing? Frack. Um, 
You mean all of that is is harmful to the to the to the uh, ability to produce more content? Come on now, didn't didn't you know people are entitled to their entertainment and it it must come at little to no no cost? And you better not stop producing it or lower the the quality or or quantity. They'll freak out. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's been um, it's been interesting to say the least. Uh, because we've uh, we said it early on, and while we, you know, everybody laughed and pointed just at Warner for for everything that they did, they were very ambitious for, and made a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, coming to find out, um, so did Disney <laughs> did so the exact did same Disney. thing. Uh, the only the only ones who were kind of you know um, chugging along over there is uh, you know Peacock and NBC Universal because. They, they were able to find a niche in, in having some of the subscription services be part of Xfinity, as well as including WWE, which has a large audience. Uh, and another thing yeah. that really helps Disney is is most of their back catalog stuff is in-house. It's not licensed. A lot of Warner Brothers stuff, especially on the animation side, were licensed. Yeah. And that's why mm -hmm. they were able to pull certain things, stop you know yeah stop things on their service and say hey we can sell it to someone you know someone else's is because they they might hold the the licensing for it um mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily uh uh making it's layered guys and and yeah yeah i mean it, i'm i'm happy they're they're kind of getting it together now because I, I just want good stuff. So go go back to your go back to your old model where you were giving us really cool stuff <laughs> um from phase one through three. And um, chairs falling. Because right now you're just, just throwing stuff at the wall and you know there's a couple of things like yeah it's pretty good. But nothing's nothing nothing feels like before. And right now you don't have an Avengers team that I care about. Nope. <sighs> No, I, there you don't have a Coulson, you don't have a Fury. Oh, I guess Fury's there, but, <laughs> I mean, somewhat. Um, you don't have a character that's kind of tying everything together that I'm rooting for. Uh, Coulson was that character. Um, and I mean, y you really don't have a superstar either. No, um. What is uh, I mean, Anthony Anthony Mac Sebastian Stan maybe or your maybe biggest stars? maybe Holland um, maybe Holland, maybe and, Holland um, or Strange uh, yeah Strange that was the other one but every everyone else is really bland and kind of mid <laughs> good uh, it like it good sucks man because because uh, but because they're the ones that and and like we can talk like this they're the ones that set the bar yeah Not they it. are. They are. They're the, they're the ones who they set our expectations, not yeah. not us. <laughs> they took yeah. us on that. They took us on that that slight little roller coaster before getting to phase three and just taking us on the yeah. the mm -hmm. highest of of highs, going through. In in my humble opinion, going through Far From Home, which I really enjoyed because we got we got Mysterio with the fishbowl head. Like we actually got that. There's no way on mm -hmm. on God's green earth that that sony would have ever done that without it being a, a marvel studios co co production <laughs> thing they wouldn't have they wouldn't have they you will never convince me that sony would have would have done what they did with with mysterio so for that thank you kevin feige for 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 talking some sense into uh well we don't pascal that. anyways um where was i going with that I don't know. We were talking about much more with about the Marvel's trailer. Oh and... yeah, we uh, we just talking about like the superstar of a of a thing and ex expectations and and how high expectations were. Not everything had to be an end end game or Infinity War level event. No. Like I said, I loved uh, Far Far From Home, uh, and not just for Mysterio, though that is the best the best part. Uh, um, I'm not grabbing my Mysterio figure from up up there. Um, but yeah, man, that you you're right. It's just like the biggest problem is everything has been so meh to just bad with very very little. Eh, good, good. And and what's been good is like individual episodes or or chunks of of episodes in a in a series. Um it it where's the interest? And yeah. and and I honestly think 
that this this Marvel this Marvel situation with Guardians and Flash being outliers be because of what they what they have going for for them Batman Batman nostalgia and Flash and and the ending of a uh, trilogy of of uh, uh, James Gunn films um, I think though I think I really think that Phase Four may have watered down comic book movies and and that fatigue we've we've talked about mm-hmm. not necessarily you and I but we as the the industry of of entertainment uh journalists podcasters and and fans have have been saying you know fatigue fatigue comic book movie fatigue i think i think marvel phase four may have actually caused it we'll know for sure come come 2025 imagine if superman legacy is the greatest superman movie ever made and it tanks i don't know man that's a james gunn film that's superman think about it if it uh, yeah. no i'm not saying it i'm not saying there's anything except for that's to me that's the litmus test that that right there if if comic book movie fatigue is real then superman legacy comes out and it doesn't do well i i'm not going to put it all on that movie because the thing is I, I superhero would. superhero films have been have been happening since forever and so i don't i don't think there'll ever be an actual fatigue what will happen is it's just certain studios with certain films are not going to be able to do well i mean you're not going to be able to do a you'll um you might only get one or one or two mcu films a year instead of three you shouldn't have three like three is sustainable three three in my mind is sustainable they did it for phase phase three i know but that i don't we're not i don't think in this in this climate that we are now as far as moviegoers we're not in a three uh in a three uh movie per studio as far as like a like an mcu thing because you're still gonna have your your shows and everything but 100 percent is watered down and the problem is is that as they keep coming out with them and they're just not doing good then it's like yeah. i'm not as excited as it for the next marvel film like i should i like what well, i didn't really like guardians too so um i i did overall yeah i it was it was just anyway um (laughs) so for three it's kind of like yeah sure like i like the characters uh, so let's let's wrap it like they're wrapping it up so all right let's wrap this up uh for the marvels i'm like i don't even know what you or like direction you guys are going for what like why i should even care um because most of the time uh it just ended up being that Captain Marvel was off screen saving a planet somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So, um, or some other universe. It, I mean, like, that's her job, whatever. But uh, I almost think that she works better in the series or something like that because you can see those little mini adventures or whatnot. You could, but then you but couldn't you, afford it. Yeah, no. I know, but that's that's what you get for you know, hiring certain people like that. Yeah, which is yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Like but, keeping uh, Jennifer Lawrence throughout the. Uh, 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 Jesus Christ, other, man! Other shitty X Men movies. <laughs> not that's not what fans say. That's they're very excited to get those X Men back, Kyle. Oh man, they it, which which one do they go with? Do they? Bring, I don't think they bring back Lawrence. I think they bring back Famke Jensen, Jansen, Jensen, whatever. Uh, I think they bring her back. The the first Jean Grey from the from the first three movies. I think, uh, I, think I will tell you no. They would do will will not. Why? I just have my reasons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, regard yeah. regardless, uh, you're gonna get some. You're gonna get some Foxmen. Besides, the Foxmen are all connected, anyways. Manny, didn't you know? Um, yeah, I that, don't. They they made it connected in. Uh, yeah. Days uh, of future, future past. past. Yeah, which was <sighs> outside of Quicksilver. It's not the. It's not all that great of a movie. I like that. And, I like that one. We finally got Sentinels. It's one of the best, but it's also you're you're talking about the the best turd in in a pile of turds, you know. And the Sentinel design with the big fan in the middle and stuff like that. Fox always af- afraid of 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 Fox and Sony were always so so afraid to an, embrace um, to embrace. Uh, um, <sighs> 
to, to they were always afraid to embrace comic accurate things. You know, Fox never wanted the the X Men in spandex. Always had them in black leather flight suits and shit. Um, uh, um, Sony didn't want to try to go Green Green Goblin comic style. They went with Power Rangers style, um, and they would have never given us M- Mysterio. I hated that. While Marvel was set, Marvel will will sit there and be like, no, do it like the do it like the comics. Make it look like like the comics almost every suit i mean they even let joss whedon put in a a pretty damn near classic colored comic accurate captain um, america suit you know including the the helmet with wings on the on the side like they they went that way you know uh um they they i don't know i i get so frustrated over over the past of of comic book movies i i really do Everyone has their own interpretation of them, you know, and that's what they decided to go with. I mean, some people put underwear on their Superman, some people don't. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of like that that um, aspect of of uh, if 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 it never changed, you wouldn't know, or if it never never happened, you you wouldn't mm-hmm. know, right? So if we never got the MCU, if all we ever got were were Sony and and Fox style uh, comic book movies, would I be as disappointed in in Spider Man and and Spider Man Two? And God, I wish I could for, forget Spider Man Three and 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 the Amazing Something Series, is, yeah. but. Uh, does it mean that I, I would be as disappointed in them as I am these days? Probably not. I'd, I'd probably look more fondly on, on Spider-Man 2. But com- compared to what we, we have gotten, compared to compared to the MCU f- films, compared to the, the quality of, of storytelling and, and things like uh, uh, Captain America Civil War, like it's it's hard to go it's hard to go back and enjoy it the exact same way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I just play devil's advocate. Just kind of like if you think about it, the the X Men outfits are kind of wonky as far as they're all so are very, black leather flight very, suits. Very, very, yeah, but at <laughs> least like if they're if they're all part of the same group and they're all part of this, like I get it why you could reason that they would have matching outfits or. You know some sort of coordination where in 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 uh in the movie in the animated series and in comics i mean their their color palettes are all you're over dealing the place. with you're still dealing with mutants so it, it like the the ridiculousness of it isn't isn't something you should be completely con- concerned about you have people leaping around and shooting lightning out of their out of their hands not using Put it put it this way, Negasonic Teenage Warhead from from Deadpool. Uh, she had in in that first movie the the best uh, X Men uh, um, uh, Teenage Warhead dead. Well, she had the best X Men movie uh, costume ever. Period. Bar none, hands down. Uh, it freaking it freaking worked. Um, the colors are a lot more uh, uh, muted, of course. I brought up uh, just a Google search for you guys to see that are watching YouTube. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. But uh, it it worked, man. Like if they had done that in the first in the first movie uh, or in the first X Men series, it would have been great. Even the even the second one, where they've actually got the X logo and and stuff like that, is more in in line with with modern uh modern comic book movies but that first outfit man it it worked perfectly man it just it did and i i don't know i don't know why why we couldn't have had that from from the get-go with the with the x-men i i honestly think they just got really lazy because there's ways you could have incorporated their colors and things like that with with kind of that uniform design um, I, you know, I, I'm just saying the reason I was saying that was just kind of like I'm pretty sure that's kind of what they thought. Um, I mean, the dark. Not, Phoenix not, not, I don't agree with look it. Like trash, man. Yeah. Dark Phoenix costume should have been pretty elaborate. Those those are so fun. garbage. Yeah, and I, I especially think that Wolverine should have stood out quite a bit more because 
he is he's very different than the rest of them um yeah yeah the the one the one i maybe don't agree with is um um a cyclops i don't know why that the full blue suit with the yellow it, it, yeah. it, it maybe that that maybe would have looked a little wonky but yeah like um you'd have to you accent some storms ex, you know yeah. and and you could have i mean beast shouldn't have been a problem of course uh mystique neither uh magneto's pretty basic um as long as you got the helmet right it, yeah it, I, I i understand what you're saying and hell some of the kids should have been wearing like in, because they they like awkwardly had suits for everyone yeah. when they needed to go out yeah. it's almost like it's almost like uh batman films where he already alfred already alfred, had suits for alfred people. makes the suit i mean alfred is pretty pretty freaking handy so well, well, I mean, at the age he he was in, in those movies look man <laughs> I've seen grand I've seen grandparents who are a freaking juggernauts. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm not gonna put it past them. I, I don't know, man. It's it's a re it's really it's it's really weird. But I don't even know how we got this far into this rabbit hole. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, from just like expectations and oh quality. Yeah, and, and, the, yeah. and the thing is, is like right now there's like so <laughs> many other good things that uh, that M marvel's becoming less important to me like right yeah. now the the flash movie because of the fact they're giving me my key in is way more important the blue beetle movie if you tell me i can pick one one of these next upcoming movies to watch it's going to be the flash yeah. uh, because michael key is in there second to that one is going to be blue beetle and and then after that i'll go guardians and then if i had to drop one it'd be the marvels that's just it's just the way it is and i mean are we supposed to be getting like a craven movie or something also uh is craven next, next year, year or next year madam we've got year. madam madam web and and craven and one is this year and one is next there, year we've now. heard nothing of anything um I'm more interested in the Barbie movie. Okay, than Madam the Marvel, Web is so. February of 24, and Craven is uh, allegedly October 6, 23. Allegedly, yeah. I will use allegedly until we mm -hmm. see a trailer with a with a release date on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got indie. You have. Yeah. I already mentioned Barbie. You have Evil Dead. You yeah. have. I mean, just so many other movies that are coming out that are uh, oppenheimer is another one i really want to um, see that one that one has i mean there's I, a, I really want to see that one a lot um so i uh, just just really really good stuff that. and and you know i mean just here's the next marvel movie guys just go and consume it and like I, and it's not even that they're not putting effort into it. It's just that they have so many projects that they can't put the same love and care in it. Yeah. But you can't. But I. And then also I can't excuse that either. That's not an excuse because the writing hasn't been great. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Looking at you, Taika. Even though it doesn't really seem like much. Like Taika's written. so good when he's not doing Marvel or Star Wars. <laughs> Like he has so he, many great his, his direction he, of yeah. his Star Wars episode in season one was phenomenal, man. It he, was he yeah, directed was the finale. Um yeah, but he has a good. he has someone else doing writing and someone else doing producing and, and there's there's some there's some handling in in his work on, on yeah, Star you know where Wars. he wasn't handled? He was not Thunder. handled on Love and Thunder at at all. Not handled and you, at all. And you could tell. It's like, you oh, need, you, like, you need to manhandle that leash. that guy. I mean, straight up, full on, like, bear hug him into into doing a more coherent job. Um, so many missed opportunities on on Love and Thunder. Wasted, yep. wasted. Uh, um, Chris uh, Bale, Christian Christian Bale. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Wasted him. Um, he had one great scene in the in the cage with the kids, man. He was frightening. He was he was channeling that like American psycho type type uh, uh, level of 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 dementedness, even uh, relishing in the in the fear and and terror. Um, and then that that was it. 
No gods killed. No god. You saw like a god corpse. I mean, and so and then they, they talked about it. <laughs> and then they they talked about it. Yeah. Uh, awful. Awful. Um, waste. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I had one last question before we wrap it up. Actually. Yeah. Uh, just out of curiosity, uh, I was looking at the top, uh, and I made made this a poll on the uh uh genre verse uh youtube channels uh community page so if you want to vote in this this poll uh come and check it out it's right here uh but looking at the the top 10 grossing films in japan and this is going to be in in billions of yen um i was wondering what people thought about uh what the super mario brothers movie will make so manny I'll say this: Demon Slayer is the number one money-making movie in Japan by nine billion yen over number two. It's uh, Demon Slayer, the movie Mugen Train. Uh, number two was Spirited Away at thirty-one billion. Uh, Titanic at twenty-six. Frozen at twenty-five, and uh, Your Name at twenty-five. Number ten is is Bayside Shakedown two at 17 so top 10 movies range from 17 to 40 billion yen uh with the top five ranging 25 to 40 billion yen how much do you think mario makes in in japan manny i think i'll pass titanic at least it seems that that'd be a close enough number 25 to 30 somewhere in that yeah. that range okay yeah. Uh, the poll. Do right, they have? Do they have? Do they have the theaters open and everything? <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's okay. open. And the people, even even tourists, are are uh, flocked back. So, uh, right now, and let me change that for you guys. Uh, see better. Right now on the poll, only got forty three votes. It's been up for 40, 49 minutes. Um, below fifteen billion yen, twenty one percent votes. Fifteen to twenty five at thirty five percent votes. Uh, only twelve percent think it will break. Uh, 40 billion becoming you know potentially the highest grossing um so the the 25 to 35 at 16 percent and that's that's kind of where you're falling in i i myself am optimistic man i think this might really blow people out of the water and, and be a, a top three film somewhere 35 to 40 billion 35 to 40 billion yen um the the video game aspect of it is kind of iffy uh the but the opening of of tourists means there's more people in japan right now than there was you know a year ago six months ago uh and people looking for something to do on their you know random wednesday night they're they're still there why not go see you know one of one of japan's icons mario in in japan i could see that being a a thing to even bolster sales in japan which i think are just going to be good out of in all general. the things you can do in Japan is go watch the Mario movie. You don't you don't get it's like a I'm trying to pro approach it from that like super fan of Japan, not mm. like your average tourist. I'm saying there's it's not like that's not the million a hundred you know, that's not a, a ten billion yen thing. I'm saying that counts, that matters. Um I think this movie does really super well. I think it's super popular, it's it's iconic. It's animated. It's not an anime, but Frozen made twenty five thousand or twenty five thousand twenty five billion yen. Um, so That's basically yeah. where I'm at, I think you could pass Frozen. And if Titanic's only like a million more than that, yeah, then I twenty six billion. I, yeah. I think I could, I could surpass that. So yeah, top a no top problem. three, but I think <clears throat> I think it'll be higher than you. But yeah, top top three. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let us know what you guys think in the in the poll there on the uh, on the YouTube channel. And while you're on that YouTube channel, check out uh, some of the other things. Podcast, uh, our playlists are one of the best ways to consume our content. You have the podcasts themselves, like uh, Breaking Geek Radio, uh, the Cantina, Marvel Multiverse Mayhem, AVR. You have our anime reactions. Have their whole own section, alphabetical order anime reviews the marvel reviews so on and, and so on so that's a really good way to uh consume our videos if you are into uh podcasts uh audio audio format there you go uh if it's not a reaction video it goes up in in audio format so spotify apple amazon any of those will will work and of course lrm online 
we darken that. Uh, LRMonline.com every day for all uh, written news, needs, uh, opinions, celebrity interviews, written reviews, and more. Uh, Manny, anything for the good people before I click the outro button? Uh, look out for the Max announcement. I think it's happened. Uh, this rumor top of the day. Max uh, announcement. Do- oh, yep. oh, the name HBO, change. The name change. Yeah, HBO yeah, yeah, yeah. Max and Discovery are finally gonna merge. <sighs> all right, guys. According to New York Times. <laughs> We'll we'll talk to you next time. Bye.